hello and welcome back to all my beautiful designers today's diy video i am going to show you guys how i made a printed shower curtain and matching canvas for our louis vuitton everything series let's get it and a couple things that you guys will need to start this diy will be a standard canvas which is the 16 by 20 inch you will also need a standard size shower curtain we're going to do a brown one on this one we're going to go outside into a well ventilated area we are also going to grab um you guys need a can of brown paint i'm using this satin that is by rustoleum and it's also a paint and a primer we are going to paint this entire canvas okay including uh the sides Okay, and it looks like we're almost done. I'm actually running out of paint. So as you guys can see, I'm just trying to shake the can up as much as possible. So the total dry time on this, guys, is going to be 24 hours, okay? Just to make sure that it's completely dry. And if you guys want to see how I made the prints for the shower curtain and the canvas um, in my design space, you look at the previous video, okay? It's going to show you that. Okay, and my canvas is completely dry now um, as you can see I have my print here it's already been um, weeded and I've kind of cut I'm going to grab my yardstick and I'm going to just measure you guys and mark with a black permanent marker just a dot in a center where the center of my canvas is um, for the center of my uh, logo okay and I'm gonna just use that point to then line everything else up Okay, now we need to go ahead and grab our transfer tape. I'm gonna be using something a little bit different this time as my transfer tape. I'm using these clear laminating sheets. I love the way they work. Okay, you guys, you guys should definitely try them. And you guys will also need to grab your handy dandy scraper. Once you got the design all scraped down, I want you guys to watch how easy this comes off onto the transfer tape when I tell you that this is definitely a new uh, tip and trick for regular vinyl. It works amazing. Yes, honey. We're going to go ahead and apply our print to the canvas we're just going to make sure we try to line everything up as straight as possible i'm using the edges of this uh clear sheet to line up with the end of the canvas and i'm going to go ahead and grab my scraper and just scrape um, each one of the little logos down as much as possible great pro tip is to make sure you place something underneath the canvas when you're scraping the design on it will help the uh, vinyl stick better once you get your transfer sheet completely off just go ahead and grab your scraper and just kind of make sure you scrape over the edges of each one of the logos just to make sure that everything is laying flush Now we're going to move on to our next piece of the canvas we're just going to make sure that we line this piece up with the other one and we're just going to repeat these steps for the other three pieces definitely help if when you're putting these other sections on you go ahead and you grab your ruler just to make sure that you line up grab you uh i mean mark a spot as to what you want to line up so you can see right there i'm lining up the middle of the stars just to make sure that everything is a straight line across
Okay, and that is about it. We're going to now put our center logo on. If you guys can see, I did end up grabbing a pair of tweezers to kind of scrape down each one of the logos just because I didn't have um, anything to put up underneath the canvas. So here you can see I've already lined up and put on my center Louis Vuitton logo, and I'm just using the tweezers to kind of go over and scrape everything down. Okay, you guys, and here it is. We are just about done with the canvas. And before we go any further, if you are a member of my community, I would just like to say thank you to you. And if this is your first time tuning in, I would like to encourage you to please click that subscribe button. And please don't forget to like and share and share, share, share this video yes honey jumping right back into it we're gonna go ahead and start on a shower curtain as you guys can see right here I have all my designs already weeded out thanks to the bestie for life and here's a close-up of the shower curtain that I chose I did get this shower curtain off of Amazon and I will definitely leave the link down in the description box Okay, now that we got the shower curtain out, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to attempt to work on half of the shower curtain, okay? You guys, this is my very first time doing this, so I am learning with you guys, okay? I also couldn't find very many videos um, online of doing a vinyl print um, like this because everybody does sublimation, but um, I just wanted to be different. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to just grab um, some of my paperweights, you guys, and put it on each corner to just kind of hold this um, in place so it doesn't slide off the table. I'm going to go ahead and grab, um, I mean, we're going to start with these stars, and I, my plan is to map them all out. So I'm going to go ahead and fold them in the center of every one and kind of crease them so I know where the center is. I do have the measurements that I will link down in the description box of how far each one of these stars has to be apart. But once you get them lined up, as you can see, I have them lined up there and I am using the um, heat transfer tape. This tape is um, something you can purchase at um, any vinyl store, wherever you go to purchase your vinyl at. And you can actually heat press right on top of it and it doesn't uh, harm anything. So you guys can see me just going down and I'm using um, my heat press tape to make sure that they're lining up where they're supposed to be. And I'm just going to repeat this process until the entire uh, shower curtain has all of these uh, stars where they're supposed to be. And I think it will make it a lot easier for us to then go back and go in between and put our other uh, logos, the uh, larger logos. And I can't remember if I told you guys, but the reason why we made the canvas first is we are actually using the canvas as our template. So I've got the canvas up and over to the side as I am placing my uh, logos on the shower curtain just so that I can keep looking at it to make sure that everything looks right and lines up. And I am almost done mapping out these stars. I actually did not um, record myself heat pressing all these stars on, but I will um, jump on the heat press um, and show you guys how I do that with the uh, bigger ones. So you guys are just gonna watch me finish this part and then we're gonna move to the next step. As I went along, you guys, I did uh, decide to then start using, um, well, a great tip for you guys to use is to use a yardstick and a ruler. Like literally at the same time, you put the yardstick on one side, you put the ruler on the other side, or I guess if you have two yardsticks, um, and then you can, um, you know, basically mark where each one of them needs to go. So of course I have my measurements already, um, how many um, inches of they're supposed to be apart. And so that's what I'm using the yardstick and the ruler for.
See, I was using the heck out of this uh, yard stick in my rulers, honey. I need to get me two uh, yard sticks. Probably need to invest in that. But um, you can see I'm just lining them up right here, lining them up um, um, vertically and then horizontally, and then boom, slapping some tape on them. And we are moving, honey. done you guys as you guys can see here mapping out the stars I'm just gonna put on the last couple ones Okay, and I am going to show you guys how to do the uh, heat press on the uh, bigger logos and the heat press setting that we're using for this is going to be 330 degrees if you have the Cricut easy press machine and according to the heat guide we are going to press it for 30 seconds then we're going to flip and press it for 15 and you also preheat it for five seconds you guys and this HTV vinyl is actually called EcoFlex and it is a cold peel, which means you let it cool all the way down before you peel it off. So you guys can see me just here. I hit the timer on my um, little machine. I light pressure, I press it and hold it for um, until the timer goes off for the 30 seconds. And at this point, I feel a little bit more comfortable so I didn't have to, you know, continue using the tape. But you guys do want to make sure that you grab your yardstick or your ruler and just make sure that everything lines up before you get ready to um, heat press like your next uh, logo. And you can see I'm just using it here to make sure that everything's lining up correctly. I completely forgot to let you guys know that I do have, at this point, I have a um, pretty bulky towel that I've like, it's like a big beach towel that I have uh, folded and that is up underneath the shower curtain and that is going to be, that's going to serve as basically our, our mat, you know, instead of using a heat press mat, which I don't have one this big and I didn't want to have to move it. So if you just get you a big beach towel and lay that down, that is what is up underneath um, to do it. So you can see these are cool and I'm going to peel them and if you do it right you guys it peels right off. That one um, was lifting on the side a little bit so I'm just going to heat press it just for a couple more seconds just to make sure that all around the edges um, gets uh, laid down properly.
on to the center and we are almost done you guys this is so exciting so this is the Louis Vuitton the big um, the big symbol that goes directly in the center and you can see me I'm just really like double double checking and trying to line everything up just to make sure everything's good and I'm satisfied with that and I'm going to heat press this in sections because I did have to um, cut it in half in order to fit it on my mat okay about it you guys we are completely um, just about finished um, I did tell you guys that this is actually a lot of work so if you do decide to do it I would love for you guys to share your photos and your videos with me please email me I would love to see if you guys um, attempt to do this at mymichelle.designs.com and I will definitely um, throw you guys on one of my videos as just like a shout out and um, upload your video or your pictures and we are done guys and here is a look at the shower curtain with the canvas right next to it you guys this was so much fun to make actually once I really got into it and I love the way it came out I hope you guys did too please let me know you guys um, feelings comments look at our Louis Vuitton everything series that we um, have on our Pinterest page if you guys ever want to see any more of the designs that I've created please head over to the Pinterest we're doing big things over there guys for watching please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe until next time